Josh, time for the Sunday score. You can write whatever you want after I've asked the question. Audio. The first one is, which of the Indigenous jumpers did you like the most so far this weekend? A lot of big raps on the Swans. The Cats was outstanding. Oh, we've got some mixture of Sean Burgoyne. That's what a, what a surprise. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um. OK. <laughs> so we've got... Hawks, Crows. Crows, two votes. And, of course, ours. Ours, yeah. OK, I like it. <laughs> um, Thursday night footy. I think Phil Davis led the charge. What about Thursday night footy every Thursday night? I think there were seven Thursday nights last year. There's eight this year. How many Thursday nights? Oh, boy. We're, on the, same, not every, not we're every. on the same page, Jude. Like not every Thursday night? Yeah. Not every Thursday night. Every I, like, Thursday I like them now and then, but yep. not often. I think Monday as well. Oh, wow. Oh, Monday you. night as well. <laughs> well every night of the week? I love the NFL and, you know, the two big, biggest games are the Thursday and the Monday night game, and I love that, so... Yeah. So, you, you, Thursday nights every night you'd be perfect with, and Monday nights... Every week. Wow. Then you get two nights rest. Oh, I think that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk to your family on the other two nights. Exactly. Um, the third is Brody Grundy. If he... Bro, I said that again. <laughs> no. Grundy. Well, how do I even get to Grundy? Uh, if, if he is the best ruckman in the league at the moment, <clears throat> what does that mean as a worth to the team at the start of the match? He's worth a couple of goals, three goals, four goals. If you're dominating in the middle... <laughs> OK, I'm 10 points, Jude. Just a 10. Oh, just a 10. Ten. Not yeah. even two goals. Oh, no, no. He's, he's super influential, but... Uh, Lift it up ten, a bit. Ten, ten's, a good, ten's a good start. OK. Three? Now. Three, yeah. He's... Tell you what, big. the man in the middle knows big. how important it is. I've, I've gone big. That. He gives their midfielders their, their strength of their team, and he gives their on-ballers first use. His hit-outs to advantage. I think he's getting, like, 64 hit-outs a game or something. Yep. Yeah. And he's getting hit-outs to advantage to Pendlebury, Beams, side-bottom, those guys, to kick it into their forwards and gives them first use. So, if you've got a ruckman like that... Bang. Yeah. Bang. The, the opposition midfield is automatically reactive and on the back foot, so um, hit outs can be a bit sort of, um, you know, they, they don't sometimes reflect it, but the, the hit outs to advantage yeah. are the one, and yep. that's what he's so good at. Okay, five from Silk. Stevie J, <laughs> uh, this goal yesterday, just for Manly. Manly Wolves, so yes, uh, <laughs> all those guys running on are actually Swans players. So you've got Tom Papley running out there next to him and Harry Cunningham filming. So, yeah, there's a, there's a few of them there. So the question is, would you pick him up in the pre-season draft? Captain coach. So he's not short of confidence, Stevie J. I'd, uh, he'd, he'd only go there if he was uh, captain coach of a club, I think. <laughs> Smart from that. That's a mandatory. Yeah, only kit snaps, no drop punts, nothing. <laughs> what value would he be to the Hawks and the Tykes? Oh, Mojo. He, he brings some X factor, but I don't think we have two picks, and I reckon you need two picks to pick. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Based on the size of him, he's worth two. Picks, so. <laughs> you got salary cap? You got salary cap? Well, he'd be asking for a fair bit. He's a million dollar man these days. He's a million dollar man, yeah, a million per goal. <laughs> per goal. <laughs>